Good morning everybody. <laughs> it's half past seven. Today we're going to have a productive day. We're going to try anyway. I'm really tired. So when I asked what videos you want to see for this year, a lot of you really loved these productive day in the life videos, days where I have a list of stuff to complete, I tick it off and I take you along with me. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to be doing loads of work today. I do have some stuff to pick up but it's more life admin tasks. So I've got the gym, a PT session at 9am. I've got the hairdressers today which is exciting because I was meant to go before Christmas and then Covid cancelled that so finally going there today. Got to do some washing, cleaning this bedroom, sorting out some some work bits that I'll tell you about. Return a parcel. Um, actually no I do have quite a lot of work things I need to get done. Okay cool fine. So let's do the day let's hope it's productive the first thing i'll do is i will write in my little app and as you can see it says let's start today let's make it good here she is hello bonnie girl hi <laughs> every day you're so happy to see me <laughs> hello princess outside we go put the clocks on. We need to get the um, pressure washer out here because look at all this moss. Oh no guys, it couldn't be more grey and boring and miserable weather-wise. Look at that. 10 to 8, I've just been picking up messages, emails, that kind of thing. I need to have some breakfast. Super important I eat before I go and do PT this morning. Normally I would like something like porridge or toast, but we've got no soy milk. And then my next choice would be an omelette, but we have no cheese, so... Oh no, we do have cheese. Is that cheese? Benji bought some ham. Yeah, ham and cheese, two eggs. Let's make an omelette. Okay, here's my breakfast. It looks good. And I've just got to put away those bits after. And then I need to go and get dressed and head down to the gym. I'm trying to drink a big glass of water. And I also have my Bassett adult vitamins. I'm trying to take these every day. Normally I walk Bonnie before I go to PT and then my appointments are usually 10 a.m but my trainer moved the um, time to 9 a.m. So it's five past eight, so I really need to go and get dressed, skin her teeth, put my hair up, pack my little bag, decide if I want to do some work down there or just come straight home and have a shower and then walk Bonnie. I think I won't stay there today. Can we just take a minute? Because I cleared out my office last week, you might have seen that video. And I need to take that to a charity shop. Office is lovely, but I have stuff out here. And then here, um, what is that? Look at all the washing. Mummy needs to do washing, Bonnie girl. <laughs> Good girl. All right. This is my gym outfit today. We're all sweaty Betty, so this top and the leggings. And yeah, this is the kind of thing I like to wear to the gym. Most of the time I wear um, black bottoms but they're all in the wash because you know I haven't done any washing. I can't lie to you I'm really really not feeling pumped. I don't know if it's because it's so grey and miserable outside. Like, it's so misty and ugh. but we've got stuff to do today we really do so let's just do one thing at a time. I've eaten let's get to the gym now then we'll walk Bonnie when I come back shower and we've got the hairdressers today and that will definitely make me feel better. Once I've got my hair and my makeup done We'll get, we'll get going. We can do this and I need to sort all of this out. <laughs> Good. Okay, I'm here and I've said this before and I will say it again that sometimes the hardest bit for me is just showing up, actually coming because on a day like today, if I didn't have something booked in that I had to attend that I've already paid for, I think it would have been very unlikely I would have found the motivation to have wanted to come down here. Although I have to say I am enjoying being at the gym now and I've 
found a nice little routine for myself writing a little list definitely helps i can see what i'm working towards and i get excited to tick off as many things as possible oh my gosh that was so good I have such a good PT. The day is escaping me, guys. It is 20 to 11 now, and um, I had to pick up some work stuff quickly, and I actually do need to be at my desk to be able to do it. What is this hood doing? But when you have a dog, you gotta go out. In fact, actually, I'm not gonna wear this coat. I have a better, bigger, warmer coat um, that I'm gonna wear instead. So Bonnie is not a huge fan of the rain, so I'm not gonna take her to her usual park um, I'm going to take her around the block. It'll take about 20 minutes, half an hour to do the route that we like just around the houses. And I'm going to put a raincoat on her so that it just helps a little bit when she comes back. And also she just doesn't like the rain all that much. So we'll pop that on you, huh? Right. You're all set for a walk now. There we go. Now I need to get set for the walk. This is my 40 pound Primark coat, the best dog walking coat I've had. I absolutely love it. And then I've got a bum bag and I put everything in here. So we're gonna need answer receipt from yesterday. We're gonna need a couple of poo bags, that should be enough. I've got some treats, need my phone, keys, and we are good to go. Right, I've had a shower. I am going to put some makeup on in a minute, but I'm dressed in a jumpsuit today. This was in a Stitch Fix box recently. It's actually like a summery, I think they call it like a summer floral jumpsuit or something, but it's so comfy. So I would rather be in this today, all one thing, you know? Because <laughs> um, it feels like pyjamas, but I'm actually properly dressed. So anyway, I have got... Uh, 12 emails that need my attention so probably gonna be about 45 minutes on these emails so I'll do that and I'm actually gonna set myself a timer set a timer for 45 minutes good and then I'm also re-watching a video I've already seen but I'm trying to do a little bit of research again on Disney Genie, Disney Genie Plus, Disney's Lightning Lane um, so I'm watching Disney Food Blog which is one of my favorite information youtube channels and i'm planning out a disney q a so one of the things on my task list today is to save the questions i got asked on instagram um so i've got to do that and i've got to do these emails the emails are higher priority so i'm gonna do them first i've got the hairdressers at two o'clock got to make a nice lunch probably in the next sort of hour um i need to a food shop today and then we need to do some cleaning as well so we still have a lot to do but we can do it. Right, so my final task, now my emails are down to zero, invoices have been sent, big replies to those big emails have been done. I can close that off. And the last thing I want to do while I still sat at my desk was to, oops, my Fitbit is flashing away, um, is to, what am I gonna do? Go on my stories and yesterday I asked for questions for a Disney Q&A, which hopefully, looking at my schedule, you should see that video next week, end of next week. So basically, I'm gonna go through the responses and I'm going to screenshot the ones that I think will be working best, and then I will airdrop them to my computer and organize them into some sort of category. So any questions about the flight, any questions about booking, anything about food, I'll categorize them. Otherwise Q and A's can sort of jump all over the place and I think it makes more sense to have more structure if I organize the questions. So that is what I'm gonna do next. Just gonna go through all your amazing questions and screenshot the ones I think are the best, but there is literally, as you can see, hundreds. Um, this might take me 10 minutes. Let's put another timer on. Time for lunch and I'm gonna make a quick sandwich, then I'm gonna do my makeup and then we'll be going to the hairdresser soon. So I'm gonna have chicken and bacon in a bagel, which is one of my go-to faves. And I cook the bacon in the air fryer. I got my air fryer for my birthday last year for my mum and I love this thing. I cook so much stuff in it. I just chuck things in all the time. And yes, obviously you can put bacon in a pan or in the oven, but I don't add any oil or anything. Just shove two pieces in, press the button, bacon. I like the temperature a little bit higher. And then I like the time at 10 minutes. And then at uh, obviously five minutes in, I flip and it just makes the perfect 
nice crispy bacon. I use bacon medallions, seal this back up, and then I'm gonna pop my bagel on closer to the end, put some chicken, and then um, I've got some melon that I need to eat up, so I'm gonna make a little bit of a lunch plate for myself. Right, I'm just doing my makeup and it feels a little bit redundant because I'm not going anywhere really today, as in I'm not filming anything, I'm not going out for lunch or dinner or anything like that. Um, so days where I'm just, you know, at home or working from home, <laughs> I don't always do my makeup. I probably only wear makeup once or twice a week, but I find that if I'm going to get my hair done, it does make a difference having a little bit of something on my face so that I can see when it all comes together. I don't know, it just it always makes me feel better. Um, so I've just popped a little bit on and I've noticed I'm a little bit low on a couple of things So I need a new eyelash curler because this one is so old and I don't have any spare um, Replacement bits. I think I'm just gonna get a new one. thought I'd show you a full length of my jumpsuit today Like I said in my stitch fix box. It's a brand that they have exclusively there called and et or et and et I think it is uh, I wanted to film a reel Maybe I can quickly do that now, of like a little office tour, the best things in my office, the thing, like something to go in line with my video that's going up tonight. So I need to remember I've got a video going up and I want a reel to go up at the same time to like cross promote. Maybe I can quickly do that. I'm going to work out how long it's going to take me to drive to the hairdressers, quickly do the reel and then we'll be going. Right, I've just filmed the quick clips that I envisioned for the reel and I saved a trending sound yesterday that I thought would work quite well. So it's going to be a voiceover, basically, five things in my office that just make sense is sort of the goal I'm going for. Ready for the hairdressers. I've nearly finished doing my reel. I think I probably need to tweak it slightly, add the text, but I do need to go now. So I've packed up my cute new little Disney bag and I love this. This is actually meant to be for the parks, but you know, I'm going to use it today. Oh, we don't need the plastic in there. Um, I need to save this so that I don't lose it. So even that can be shorter. That can definitely be shorter. Okay, so we need to make this shorter. So we'll save it. Right, everyone, I'm at the hairdressers. And I say hairdressers. The girl has her own little converted shed in the back garden that's really lovely. And it's just her. And I just really enjoy going to her. She's amazing. So, yes, um, this is only my, like, third or fourth time I've been here. She's super in demand. And I can never get an appointment, which is why I'm here on a Tuesday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, anyway, masking up. Got my auntie back. All right, I'll see you after. And just like that, she's got new hair. So, she's actually cut it in the middle for me. But she said I can, like, change the parting however I like. Um... So, yeah, it's just a little bit lighter around my face. That was so lovely. That was just the most wonderful appointment. Not just because, obviously, I got my hair done. Can't stop looking at myself. Look at me! <laughs> All glammed up and nowhere to go. Um, but mostly because she's just come back from Florida. She spent two weeks out in Florida in November, and I haven't seen her since. And it was her first time. And before she went out, I was like, oh, my God, you're going to have to do this. You're going to do this. I was like, watch my vlogs, do this. I can text you recommendations. Like, I, I was so excited for her. But also, I was really nervous for her because there have been a lot of changes at Disney. And I'm going to talk all about it in my Q&A. But for a first timer, I wasn't really sure she'd feel the magic the same way I felt it in 2018. Um, well, 2017 was my first trip as an adult. I'd been as a kid, didn't remember it. And then I went first time in 2017. And then again in 2018 with Benji. And I wanted her to feel the way I felt when I first walked into the parks. And she did. And she just, it was so joyful to hear her talk about how wonderful it was. And despite, you know the policies and the masks and, and how things are in the world she still had an amazing time and it was just really really lovely to chat all things Disney with somebody who just gets it um we have so many things in common we like loads of the same things and honestly we could just sit and chat for like two hours but um yeah she's done my hair it only takes 45 minutes it's not too bad so that is that I did not write a shopping list so I may regret just going in and picking up bits but let's go I've got my bag first of all um, lettuce. Um, uh, how do they look? Let's get some corn on the cob. I love these Charlie Bingham's meals. I still call it Bingham, not Bigham, but I'm going to get one of these for tomorrow night. I love these low calorie light chocolate yogurts. I like grated cheese. 
in the bag. It's easy, isn't it? I was gonna get my usual sandwich chicken, but I actually think I might have some barbecue chicken for the next couple of days for my sandwiches. I'm waiting for them to bring back my candy floss grapes, but they don't have them at the moment. I think I'm just gonna go for some bananas. I love bananas. I think I will actually get some grapes as well, even though they're not my lovely the candy floss grapes. I think we'll still get some of these. I absolutely love the naked smoothies, but the tropical one is on offer, so I think I'm going to try that for £2. Oh, Alpro have changed the packaging. Should I get no sugar or normal? Does it make much difference? I'm thinking of having like a pita wrap salad with some sort of chicken or fish. Um, but I forgot tomatoes, so we'll get those with some sweet corn, I'll have that. Just chuck something together. I've gone for these cherry tomatoes, 48p. Right, a couple of little snacks. I'm gonna get Mr. Kipling angel slices. They're only 100 calories, little cake. And these Jaffa cakes as well, bars. Just cause I like a little sweet treat every now and again. So I know I'm definitely gonna get some more bagel thins cause I obviously love these and eat them basically every day for lunch. Um, but I always just get overwhelmed with the amount of bread choices and this is not even a big Tesco so I either can go for wraps, mini wraps or I'm thinking we've got a flatbread which could be quite nice I absolutely love these with a cup of tea and I also quite like a snowball as well these are really nice oh, so I might get one of these each this is very hard to do one handed, scanning it and with the bag now <laughs> right, for my main tonight I'm going to go with chicken breast cut up one of these and have that with a pita and some salad and that'd be nice and they don't have an awful lot of clothes in here but i just sort of show you what they do have just looking in the reduced stuff and they have this limited edition real techniques mini glow kit from 20 pound under 10 which would make such a good gift for somebody at christmas comes with four brushes and like a little storage tray i've just picked up one of these little um sun cream on the go for 75p I think that will come in handy for future trips and then i also needed some cotton buds um so i picked up these just because the box is squished but they're reduced but they still do the job i don't know how good it is but they've got an eyelash color in here they have two they have one for two pound and this one for five pound i feel like i'm getting carried away and distracted so i'm gonna leave see look this is what happens it's a disney necklace there a disney bits i need to go <laughs> right the food shop is done and I definitely took longer in there than I would have liked. It is now 20 to four. Just feeding Bonnie her dinner. I'm gonna put away the food shopping and then I'll take her out for a quick walk, probably before my video goes live. I'll let her food go down for like half an hour or so. Did you like your dinner? Was that yummy? Was that good? You're licking your lips, so I think that's good. All right, great. All right, let's put away the food. She just wants to play with me so we'll just do a little bit of tug of war or just give her some attention just for 10 minutes or so and then we're gonna walk you. I've just processed an online return because I ordered some things from Monsoon and some of you may remember last year the hunt for like dresses for occasions and weddings and events and stuff so I went on there to have a little look and I ordered a bunch of dresses and I'm only keeping one so this is the one I'm keeping it was £29 down from £99 and it's like a silk green and pink midi dress with long sleeves and it looks really lovely on i really like it it's the kind of dress you can wear winter or summer like it's a good all year round sort of dress i can wear it to a wedding with heels um or i can wear it with tights and flats so yeah i just thought that was a really good buy um and then before christmas i actually did an order on river island so i thought i'd show you the dresses i got on there if i can find links to any of these things i will leave them they're actually all midi dresses um but this one this beautiful green dress. It doesn't look like much hanging on the hanger, but this was originally £38 and I got it in the sale. Oh gosh, I can't remember the price, but it wasn't wasn't full price. It was definitely sale. Um, but it's just a really lovely floaty green dress. I just really, really love this. I think this green colour looks lovely on me. So this was the second dress. And then the last dress that I got was also River Island. Um, and this has a little belt and it definitely needs the little bit of string to like tie it in. Um, but it's this creamy beige florally dress originally 46 pound again i got it in the sale um this one's quite thin but i quite like that about it it's nice and light and easy to wear a good evening dress so yes they were my new 
dresses purchases. Bonnie is ready and I've got the parcel to return for Monsoon and I've also got a bag of stuff to take to the charity shop that I decluttered from my office the other day that um, yeah, can go to a better home. Just some books and a laptop sleeve, a couple of purses, glasses case and some magazine files. Um, so yeah, I just didn't want any of that stuff anymore. Um, so I'm gonna donate that and go to the post office, walk Bonnie, and then hopefully by the time we come back, it'll be roughly time for my new vlog to go up so I can be around for it. So let's go. I'm so pleased that we got that done. Just dropped off at the charity shop and then the post office. And now we're walking back home. It's not the nicest of days, but once I get back, I'm gonna make that real video is going to go up and then spend probably another hour doing some work and then we make dinner so my priorities now are to get that reel done and then oh, fluff and then I need to sort out the Disney video ready for tomorrow like prep that and then <laughs> my new video will be going up so this does happen sometimes where Instagram just completely glitches it won't let me record the voiceover so although I've edited it it's just not happening so what's going to have to happen is my plan b option which does happen from time to time is to import the uh, the videos into my laptop and try and edit it quickly on here because I wanted it to go up at the same time as my video that's going up at five. Things in my home office that just make sense. So listening back, I can obviously record directly through the laptop and normally that is fine for little projects but you just can't hear it very well so I'm just going to dig out the microphone quickly. It's five to five, obviously I should have done this much earlier. It doesn't really matter if it's up a bit later than the video goes out, but I'm just gonna switch the settings to the Yeti microphone because, there we go, Yeti stereo microphone. This is gonna sound so much better. So, five things in my office that just make sense. A wall mounted paper rack for organizing paperwork. Let me know what you think. And then, dun dun dun. Five things in my office that just make sense. So that's taken me 17 minutes to get everything up and running. So I have done the video tweet Facebook. Sorry, that's my video automatic thing. Ah! Um, and now I need to reply to the comments on the reel, the first comments that have come in on the video. And I also want to pin a little comment um, just because this is sponsored by a brand, Popsa. And I want to say thank you. So it's been an hour since all my content went live and people are commenting and chatting away and I've replied to quite a lot. So now I'm going to send myself all the Disney questions that I screenshot earlier. Oh, also what's quite exciting guys is by the time you watch this video, it might already be live. Yeah, I think it will be. Yes, it will be. Okay, so I'm working on my new website and I loved blogging back in the day I used to write on my blog regularly it was a little hub for reviews I used to do little makeup reviews theater afternoon tea hotels I just shared anything that I was interested in and it was a really lovely little place not many people read my blog I'm not a very strong writer but I really loved the creative side of it and I actually had over 500 blog posts on there and I deleted all of them bar 25. So I just wiped everything clean. Um, I did have to be quite selective. The 25 that I picked are ones that have really high views. They're really good posts that I thought were added a lot of value. So um, anyway, I've been, or I've spent the last sort of three or four months, ever since I went to Palma, Mallorca, I learned about the value of having a website and it really inspired me and I really wanted to get the blog up and running. So I reached out to one designer that basically gave me a massive quote to have like a fully um, personalized bespoke website. And honestly, I just didn't need a bespoke website. I just needed like a really beautiful template and something quite simple just to get me set up because also I'm still on blogger.com and it was almost a crime to still be over there. So I'm moving over to WordPress and the girl that's sorting it all out for me is setting everything up. She's got all my logins right now. She's coding it all out. I've made a logo. Um, basically, if you want to go see how it looks, then I will link it below. I might have cut this out if it's not ready yet, but it should be ready. So you can go and have a little look. And um, I was hoping to have some new blog posts up for the launch, but I only found out yesterday that 
that it's going to be ready to go up on Monday. So I actually still have the rest of this week. Maybe I'll slot in some time to write some posts for you. But I'm really, really excited to see how it looks. Like I've picked the colours and the logo and the design and everything. Um, and I think it'll be great. So I've been working on that. Um, and I've not been doing all this other stuff. And yesterday was so productive as well. I also did... Um, my media kit for 2022 updated that put some new stats in there for brands to look at um and i already have quite a few brands lined up for the next couple of weeks which is really exciting actually in september i was fully booked for the rest of the year which is just mind-blowing um what am i doing macbook pro i would also like to upgrade my macbook at some point this year i think i'm going to treat myself at some point okay it's now 20 to 7 and i still have quite a lot of planning to do for this disney q a but i'm absolutely starving so i'm gonna get some dinner on and as you know i bought the chicken lettuce tomato sweet corn or corn on the cob so we need to get corn on the cob pan going and we'll probably use the air fryer again. I don't know if it's obvious, but Benji is working away. So it is just Bonnie and I tonight. Benji actually works away quite a lot in the week, midweek. So I do have to just cook for myself and I do find it really sad and boring cooking just for one person. However, I, uh, I try and be creative and try and mix things up. Obviously we have HelloFresh meals on a weekend. So that's coming on Friday, which just, is such a game changer because even trying to think of meals for myself all through the week i'm like oh i'm in that day tomorrow i've got the fish pie from charlie bingham's and then thursday night i'm going out for dinner with my friend megan and then friday night we'll do hello fresh so that's the plan anyway here's my dinner i wanted a pitta that i could put everything in and make it like a you know a wrap but ended up being easy to just dump it all on top and i'll just eat it as i go but yeah this is a nice little dinner Nothing too fancy, just yummy. And just like that, dinner is all done. I've tidied up, put the dishwasher on so it was full. And little bonnie girl is just down here keeping me company. I've washed up the air fryer and I've got myself a little dessert that was in the freezer. Um, so I'm just waiting for it to defrost. Thought that'd be a bit nice to treat myself to. Just need to sort the washing. So I put a wash on earlier and I need to take it out and put it in. It's eight o'clock. I am really flagging. I want to see how much I can do in the bedroom. And I'm going to do a power hour. So I'm going to close off my computer because I don't need to be on here anymore. I've replied to all the comments on the vlog. And we're going to go and uh, tidy up our bedroom because it is a mess. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Good. This is what it looks like out here. Let me just move the tripod. I've put the washing down there, found some tennis balls. That's to go in the loft. Just a couple of holiday Christmassy jumpers um, that I need to put with the Christmas stuff. Some clothes that I want to donate, dog treats. And then I do have some bits going on down here. So I do need to do this spare room, but not today. I think we've been productive enough. So I'm gonna do my skincare now, take this makeup off and then get into bed, watch a bit of YouTube or Netflix. I've actually just finished watching Emily in Paris and I absolutely loved it. I know it's trash and everyone uh, gives it a hard time because it's not the best TV, is it? But I absolutely love it. And they, um, they've they just commissioned a season three and four, which is so exciting, but hello, Missy. I'm gonna get into bed with you in a minute. We can have a cuddle, can't we? We can have a cuddle together. You are the best little sausage that ever existed. Yes, you are. Okay, I've been doing my skincare and teeth and now I'm back in bed. Well, back in the bedroom, in bed. And I'm gonna invite the little one up for a cuddle. Come on in. <laughs> she was waiting patiently. Here she is. Hi, darling. Hi. I'm gonna give Benj another call. My friend Bianca sent me a voice my I need to listen to. Um, I was given this for Christmas, Walking on Sunshine by Giovanna Fletcher. I am 100 pages in, so I've just started it, um, and yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm a bit of a slow reader. I don't read every day or every night, but I really do love, <laughs> she's yawning, um, winding down for the evening, getting into bed at nine o'clock. Yeah, it's quarter to nine, um, and having time to like, yeah, look at my phone, then do a bit of reading, then go to bed. It's the next day. It's actually, what time is it now? Five o'clock, pitch black outside, so... 
I've got a light up and I've got something exciting to show you. Very exciting actually. So my MacBook Pro is from 2014. So it's old. It's actually still operating fairly okay. But it is starting to die on me every now and again. It doesn't like software updates. It um, doesn't have enough memory space for me to do more than one video at a time. It's really heavy and bulky for travels and I've been wanting to upgrade for at least a year now and I decided today was the day. I woke up this morning and I was like, I'm going to go and upgrade my laptop today. So I called my brother, we went to Southampton and we went to the shop and I was actually going to order it online because then I can have like Final Cut Pro installed on it because I'm still on iMovie to edit these videos. So I may invest in Final Cut Pro as well and um, try and learn to use that. But... I basically bought a new MacBook. So this is the new MacBook Pro. It's the 14 inch, one terabyte. So there's three, I think, to pick from and I've got the second, the middle one. I ended up getting the space gray because they didn't have any silver in stock. So I just went for space gray. They look very similar. Um, I did want silver because that's what I had before, but actually it's quite nice to have a change. So I just thought I'd do a little um, unboxing for you and show you my new laptop because this is just so exciting. I actually got Apple Care added onto it as well, which is for three years. So that was an extra like £300-ish or something. So it ended up coming to just over two and a half grand total for the, the laptop, which is a lot of monies. Considering how long my last one lasted i got a lot of wear out of that and that laptop saw me through hundreds of videos and like propelled my career basically it's how i started my freelance with that laptop and i actually did take it in to trade it in and i only was offered 50 pound for it which is very sad so i think i am gonna actually try and sell it um probably not online probably to like a family or a friend um but yeah let's get it open all righty the moment of truth there she is Oh my gosh, what an absolute treat. Oh my god, I can't believe this is mine. The paperwork, I assume. Then we have the charger. Oh, how satisfying. Lovely. And that should slide on there. There we go, there's our plug. And the wire. And that's literally it, that's all that comes in the box. Just like that. Well, isn't that neat? That is a much better cable than my old one, I have to admit. It looks a lot more sturdy because before this used to break and um, the wire, the plastic bit that covered the wire used to snap. So this is much, much, much better. And apparently it charges much quicker. So that's that. So we'll put that back in there. Do you know what? Now I've got it home and in person, I really like that. The dark... Um, Grey. I think it's called space grey, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Wow, the sound is nice. Oh, it's so pretty. So this one doesn't have the touch bar that the newer ones had. Um, and it has a memory card slot, which was really important to me. I wasn't going to have a laptop that didn't have that. Oh, look at that. Hello. Other things about my old laptop were that the battery didn't last very long at all and it used to overheat massively. The fan, especially if I was doing any work in bed, would just go nuts. This is really cool. It's asking me to set up. Oh my gosh, I'm going to use my thumb. So clever. I'm so easily pleased by these things. I love that the screen fills the whole thing, whereas before I had a gap and it was pretty ugly. So... Yeah, it's pretty neat, isn't it? It looks really nice. So one of the first things I'm going to do is remove things on the dock at the bottom that I'm not going to use. News is not something I want. Keynote, no. I'm aware I didn't finish uh, filming the end of this video. And basically I've had the laptop for almost a week now. I'm absolutely loving it. The battery lasts so long in comparison to my old one. It's so smooth and quick and I'm learning how to use Final Cut Pro and basically I'm just really enjoying experiencing a lovely new laptop. It's been a dream. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I was very productive this day. I watched it back like, whoa. <laughs> 
would like to be that productive today actually um but i hope you're well please click subscribe if you enjoyed this and you'd like to see more videos like this give it a thumbs up and i will do more for you i like bringing you along on these days where i can tick off my to-do list and i'll be back very soon with another new video and i hope you have a lovely rest of the day so thanks for watching see you soon bye